What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today I am going to show you how to create overlay materials. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so overlay materials are basically materials that we can add on top of our existing materials on meshes. So for example, we could create an outline which will be glowing when, you know, our character has a sort of power up. So in this case, what we need to do is just go ahead and right click and create a new material. Let's name this M underscore overlay. And what I want to do is basically add a sort of outline on top of this skeletal mesh that I have here in my level. As you can see, it basically has this material which is called monkey. And we can basically add this glow effect, right? Without directly needing to go ahead and, you know, interfere with this existing base material that the skeletal mesh has. So if I were now to go and select the monkey over here in the level and you search for overlay, we can see that an overlay material slot will appear. So then I can just drag this into the overlay material and there we go. Now all of the color of our base texture is gone. So if I now open the M overlay material and basically do a little experiment by just changing the blend mode instead of being opaque to translucent and setting the opacity to be zero. So it's basically an invisible material. As you can see, we go back to our base color. So as you can see, it's not replacing the material is basically adding on top. That's why it's called an overlay material. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and just put this to one and put it back um, to be opaque for now. So to create this overlay, right, which is sort of kind of an outline with a bit of glow, what we can do is use this Fresno node in Unreal. And this node will basically just detect the edges of our mesh and just do like a little fade in. So if I simply just were to pass this into the base color, you can see that there's a tiny fade. So let me just, you know, reduce the value to one, right? And just increase this overall by just 0.01, so 0 0.05, right? And I just applied this and went back to the level. As you can see now, right, our monkey has this kind of outline, right, on just the borders of the mesh. Right. And I mean, it, it kind of looks a bit weird right now because it isn't very noticeable that it's in like an outline. Right. It looks like it's also happening in the middle, middle of the mesh itself, but it's actually happening on just the borders. But the transition takes so long, as you can see, that we can change and play around with the parameters uh, to play with this. But leaving the parameters by default. Right. What I want to do is basically use, you know, add on top of this basically uh, existing base material as I showed uh, before this glow. So what I can do is simply change back the blend mode to translucent and instead of plugging this to the base color, just overall to the opacity. And now basically as you can see, we have this Fresno effect with our opacity. As you can see, it's very, very subtle. So what I can do is just change the base color to maybe be something as um, you know, uh, blue, right? Maybe more bluish. There we go, right? I like that. And if you don't see this kind of drop down, this new uh, 5.4, you can just hold the three key in your keyboard and then uh, left click, and then you can go ahead and create the color and just plug this in, right? But in 5.4, we have this little values here, which is really nice. All right, so now back into our level, as you can see now, because we added transparency and changed, most importantly, the color of this overlay, right? We have now this really cool glowing effect, which is more visible. I mean, we could go even more crazy if I were to go and add some emissive color, right? So if I were to uh, copy the hex number on this, right? Create a color uh, node as I just showcased, right? Replace this plug this here and then simply go and multiply right the fresno and the base color into the emissive color now we have a an actual glow of this color right so this is actually glowing right now and i could increase the 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 density right but for now is I, I like it like this so maybe i could go and you know put this to be a bit more darker right so you know it's not so crazy of a glow but as you can see we have this overlay material on top of the base material which is adding a nice glow and we build little build this in five seconds which is really really cool so that's it guys i found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel lots of unreal engine 5 videos and throws so check them out 
you can get the private files through Patreon YouTube members, so link in the description. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now yes, with all said, bye bye.